you got so big, Tommy. <laughs> and you're just as shy as your father was. Don't let him fool you. Usually, he's always up to something. We are so proud of you. Of both of you. Is she still here? Hmm? Your wife, Agnes. No. Ellen and Martha moved her to Kingsbridge. She got a proper burial this time. Will you come back with us, too? Would you want that? Yes. I need your help with the cathedral. Philip and I have big plans. We'll come. Ellen, we found Jack's family in Cherbourg. The place he came from wasn't Cherbourg, it was Cherbourg. But, really? What were they like? They were good people. His grandmother said Jack looked just like him, like his father. He does. But they never came for him or, or asked about him. They thought he was dead. His ship sunk. He'd always wanted to go to England. Have you ever heard of the White Ship? Uh, no. The King's family drowned. My father was there. He was the only one who survived. Not for long. You told me that he was accused of stealing a chalice. Yes. But, but I know he was innocent. I heard the story and had to find out what he looked like. He told me his name. I fell in love. I helped him escape. But in the end, they caught up with us. What happened then? They hanged him. I was there. And you were there, Jack. But you weren't born yet. He was led to the gallows. Everyone was quiet. The people somehow knew he was not a thief. But I knew for sure. He told me. He was so afraid. He didn't want to die. I didn't want him to die. And I prayed. Then I heard his voice. Quiet. Sang sweeter than than ever. As if the falling melody might wing and net dissever. At dusk the hunter took his prey, the lark his freedom net. No! No! <laughs> you said that three men were responsible for father's death. Who were they? The Sheriff of Shiring, Percy Hamley, Prior James of Kingsbridge, and Archdeacon Whaler and Bygod. They showed no mercy. Neither did I. I curse you! All of you! He will return to haunt you! One day, you will be judged for what you did! Your houses shall be consumed by fire! Your life shall end in pain and agony! You shall grow old in sadness and regret! The people they killed will return to haunt them. I promised them. We welcome our new prior, Remigius. He helped to recover the bones of the saint of Kingsbridge, Adolphus, from the hands of thieves. Adolphus already rests safely in this great cathedral of Shiring. 
Our master builder Alfred promised me that it will only be a matter of a few years until the cathedral will be finished. And the Earl of Shiring has promised to support us. But he has not done so for himself. No, the Earl is not a selfish man. His mother, Lady Hamley, is sick. More and more, I feel the whole of England is suffering from a sickness. The sickness of war, poverty, and most of all, heathen beliefs. I have spoken to God. I asked him, begged him to walk amongst us, to heal us. But God told me that only when this great cathedral is finished will he have a temple to reside in. No matter the cost, this shall be a towering castle to protect us from evil and false beliefs. With this cathedral, we will bring an end to the dark times. Waleran, by God! Jack? What are you doing here? My father died by your hands, Waleran. His name was Jack Sherborg. How dare you talk to the bishop like that! He died right here! Who are you? I know that man. He's that bastard from Kingsbridge. That man is my husband. You? All of you, listen to what we have to say. From now on, Kingsbridge is protected. By our knights, by our walls, and by the word of the king. So whatever you do, we will defend our town, our market and fulling mills. And our cathedral, which we shall rebuild. All workers are invited to come and work for us. <laughs> Preposterous. If you so much as try to bring harm to us, Bishop, we will make sure that you pay for everything you did. <laughs> 